Hey everybody, this is Edge Joe and welcome to my second video in my series on um, working with text files or file handling using Python. Um, as you can see, this is the video I made earlier today for the list part, but I just want to edit this now and I want to change this to my uh, file handling. My file handling um, uh, using lists and things like that. So I'm just going to put lists there as well. Lists, input, random generator, and so on. Okay, cool. So the idea is we have this piece of code and if you did not follow my lists, um, you can just pause the video right here and then um, uh, copy that into Python and then you can continue. Otherwise, if you are have, if you have done the, the list part, uh, I think it's video 3, then um, you can just uh, bring that one up and then um, save as to edit it. So the idea here is we are still generating the random number. We are still going to um, have that, but instead of storing it in a list, so actually I can take that out now, with instead of storing it in a empty list, we're going to basically just store it into a text file. So we don't need the nums dot append. We're going to have something. Actually, I can keep. Um, Anyway, oh no, I'll change it. I'll change it later on. I'll change it later on. We're still going to use these values, and um, we're going to do everything to try and get the numbers that we generate stored into the text file. Text file. I can probably name my text file nums anyway. So, um, or my variable, I could name nums. Right. So let's get started. Remember, there are three parts. There are three parts to it. The first part is to um, create create um, the text file for writing. You want to create the text file for writing. So I'm going to use um, nums um, just because I've already got it there. I'm just going to use the nums because we're working with numbers. Again, you can have anything you want. You can have a monkey wrench or it doesn't matter, but it's usually um, good coding practice to have a variable name that is related to what you are doing. So we obviously want to generate um, the numbers. So remember from the um, previous video, you have to use the open function to actually create your um, uh, file name and open it to write. So what shall we call this? I'm just going to call this one random random.txt. Remember it's a text file. It's very important later on when we get to the integer here, um, we'll probably find it's not going to be able to write because you need to convert this to text, but we'll see. And we need the W there for writing. That's the mode that we use in that sense. This I'm just going to keep the same um, because this is what we are using for, uh, I'm just going to say uh, generating uh, user input generating user input again we're going to loop so many times we're going to repeat that so many times or iterate is the technical term <coughs> and we're going to use the the upper and lower values excuse me let me just drink a bit of water for my throat there apologies for that right um as you can see i'm recording i'm attempting not to do any editing at all because it takes way too long uh, and i need to get a few videos out quickly Okay, so we've done that, and so we've opened that. This is going to run. That's going to append nowhere because we don't need that. Um, I'm going to have to change that to write later on. So remember, this is when we open it to write. Then we want to write it. So I need to change this num uh, dot write, and that is now uh, allegedly going to write that. I think we're going to get a problem because this is a integer. And can we write integers into text? I am not too sure. And um, we're not going to print nums. Not yet anyway. So I'm just going to take that out. And append or add random numbers to the text file. Text file. There we go. And then we need to obviously finalize finalize the the file so it can store the information. So let's have a look. Let's have a look. Um, nums dot close let me just run that um, 
I need, let me just see, I just need to get my file open. It's over there, let me just grab it this way. And I want to see where did I have my text files. I think it's this one here. So um, we've got, this is the file we created when we're doing that one, the first video, the second video. Um, we want to create a file that is called random.txt and that's going to go into that one. So let me run this one, F5, enter. I think we're going to get an error message, but um, I'm not too sure. So let's say 15 times, bottom value 1, top value, let's just make it 25. And let's, yep, yeah, there we go. That's just what I thought. With our nums dot right, the argument must be string and not integer. So all we need to do is just convert this part that part to string because currently it's an integer okay cool let me close that and let's get back to this one so uh, in a previous video we converted the input uh, I think it was in the list one we converted the input to um, integers because everything you type on a keyboard when you input it it's uh, string by default and we had to change that to numbers so we did the int for integers casting to integers. This time we're going to cast to string. So it's already integers here and we're just going to cast to string using the function str for string. We open the bracket and we have to close the bracket. Right, so theoretically that's going to work. So f5 enter and then we want to enter, what do we say, 15 times between 1 and 25. Right, so we got no, no error messages there, so we just need to look at what we have. So there's a little random file that was created. I'm going to double click, and we should have lots of numbers in a row. So there we have it. There's our 25 randomly generated numbers. Um, but again, like before, um, that could just be one big number. We're not too sure what's going on there uh, in terms of the, the, the data um, that we have. So we want to generate that, because we don't know was it 16 that was um, generated or was it a 1 and then a 6 and then 15 or was it a 1, a 6, a 1 and then 5? Who knows? Who knows what that was? So I want to put all of these on its own little line. So let's close that one, get back to this one. So when we write it, we want to write that and then I want to put each one in a new line. Remember we use the concatenate function where to join uh, using the new line which is the backslash n so theoretically that's gonna work so let me just f5 and enter and there are oh yes so let's say 15 um, and let's make it different numbers this time let's go negative so negative let's say 50 um, and we do it all the way to plus 50 how's that let's see what happens there so that seems fine no error messages let me close that, open this one, random, and there we go. There we go. So now we can see, now we can see our numbers here. We had a minus 16, minus 34, and so on. Each on its own line. Oh, it also got the zero. <laughs> Each on its own line. So that is quite cool. That is actually quite cool. Uh, let me just get back to this one. So what have we done now? So we have learned um, how to combine what we've learned in lists where we were just generating random numbers and putting it into a list so we use the same skills but instead of writing it to a list we are writing it to a text file and we've created this text file called random.txt we've opened it so that we can write to it all that information is stored in a variable which is in, um, again stored in memory um, and then we use the write function we had to convert our integer to string which is text because we have to write it to a text file and then to make sure that it's on a new line um, we used the backslash n and then obviously to store all of this into the text file we had to finalize the file by closing it and that then generated for us very nicely our our um, uh, our text on separate lines in our uh, text file. So let me close all of this. So thank you for watching. I think this a uh, neat little thing that we've done here, combining our um, knowledge from our lists 
and our for loop into um, generating the data to go into a text file. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, remember to subscribe or come back to this um, channel to see more of file handling lists and other Python tri tips and tricks. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.